Overwatch 2 really, really, really balanced patch notes April 1st, 2024. Patch update. We're currently aware of an issue that these balance changes are only reflected in a game mode that appears in the arcade. So we're gonna call it balanced Overwatch for now. Sorry for any confusion. There are also some new challenges that are granting some of our developers doodles as sprays. We're not sure why that is happening, but they're really cool looking. You might want to collect them as quickly as possible because this is planned to be fixed by April 8th. Well, with how they fix things, this should be like April 16th, so, I mean, it, it's fine, it's fine, it's not gonna be fixed at April 8th. Anyway, here are updates, developer comments. Due to technical difficulties, a significant portion of the balance tweaks we intended, wait, Corpa. We intended to include in the Season 9 competitive update were left out. To remedy this, we're releasing them now. We understand that players will still want to try all these exciting changes who have made it easier than ever to switch heroes mid-game. Oh god, wait, is it Mystery Heroes? Is it Mystery Heroes maybe? Maximum ultimate charge preserved on hero swap increased from 15 to 49%. Spawn swap technique is back. Let's go. Honestly, th th this number, 49%, it's... It's kind of small. They could have at least went with 50. You know, in, <clears throat> in negotiations, when somebody says 49, they actually are willing to go to 50. If they say 42, they're willing to go to 40. In this case, 49, they should have went with 50. Should have done a counter offer. Okay, so this is the general update. So you're gonna have uh, ultimates available non-stop almost. Tank, DVA, 69 would have been curve. 69 would have been perfect, Chad is saying. For legal reasons, I don't think they could have done that. Anyway, tank, diva, developer comment. Mech go zoom and diva bomb go boom. <laughs> Boosters can now move backwards. Can now be cancelled with crouch. Wait, diva can crouch? Canceling the ability with crouch in the first 0.4 seconds reduces the cooldown to 1.5 seconds. Why in the first 1.4? What? What is this? Self-destruct knockback increased by 900%. Huh. Okay. Okay, exciting changes. I think Diva's, uh... Oh, anyway, Doomfist. Doomfist is a mobility hero, so there's no reason he should be slowing down while blocking, right? Power block and meteor strike also empower your next quick melee. Oh my god. This is gonna do so much damage. Movement speed modifier increased from 0 0.65 to 1.25. Okay, Junker Queen. Developer comments. Leave it to Junker Queen to cut her way to new heights. Pressing secondary fire while the ability is active now magnetizes Junker Queen to Gracie. What? Cooldown now starts when Blade starts returning to Junker Queen. Cooldown decreased from 6 to 4 seconds. Spider Queen? What do you mean? Pressing secondary fire while the ability is active now magnetizes Junker Queen to Gracie. Spider Queen? Reverse Throathog. This should be in the game. Okay, we're gonna see how it's gonna look, but this should be in the game. Okay, Mauga. Developer comments, Smalga. Hell decrease from 350 to 25. Mauga's skill has been reduced by 50%. <laughs> Honestly, a big round of claps. Finally, I think Mauga is balanced right now. 25 health is amazing. Tiny Mauga. It took them, what, from December to actually come up with these changes. They've been experimenting, but Smalga meta might happen. We did it. We did it. It took some time, but we finally find a way to balance Mauga. Incendiary Chain Gun. Hitting enemies who are going to fire will ignite them. Log-based um, log based uh, change over here. They're going to fire, so why not ignite them anyway? Love it. So, TLDR, you got to play bad versus Mauga to not get on fire. Orisa. Developer comments, Effie has made some changes to Ogisa's technology inspired by a completely hypothetical scenario where a certain archer rides her into battle. Energy Javelin, ricochets, ricochets, bounces once and explodes when it sticks. Okay. <sighs> Scattered Javelin, Scattered Javelin. I was close enough with that word, right? Ramatra, developer comments. We heard Ramatra wasn't suffering enough. <laughs> so we've increased his suffering so that he causes suffering. His enemies will suffer as much as he has suffered. Base armor increased from 100 to 225. Great boss Ramatra activated. Annihilation. Insert boss music. 
moves from his ultimate to ability 1, no longer pauses its duration while dealing damage, movement speed increased by 20%, duration increased from 3 to 5 seconds, damage per second decreased from 30 to 20, ah. Reasonable change, honestly. Like, this is a tiny, a tiny nerf to compensate for all the small buffs. Radius decreased from 12 to 9 meters. And, uh, wait, we're still continuing. Moved from his ability Nemesis 4. Moved from his ability 1 to his ultimate. Always has Annihilation active while in use. Fully heals Ramatra on use. Pommel damage increased from 60 to 75. Pommel range has been increased from 10 to 15. Wow. Okay, Reinhardt. Haha, <laughs> this is just like ping pong. Watch this, Brig. I will be entering the championship this year. Classic Reinhardt caps lock. They always do this for April Fools with Reinhardt. Let's see what changes we have. Just for the shield, barrier field. You can now press primary fire to reflect. You can now press primary fire to reflect projectiles. Okay, health decreased by twenty percent every second while reflecting. Barrier size decreased to 50% while reflecting, and camera lock input now bound to quick melee. You know, honestly, I think looking at these changes, they should they should nerf Genji. Genji's kit is too strong that they actually decided to give part of his kit to other heroes in the game. Seriously now. They should nerf Genji out from this. Like this is a clear example with how strong Genji is. Roadhog. Much to the chagrin of his enemies, I have no idea how to read that word, Roadhag has recently discovered baseball. Projectile speed increased from 26 to 80 for Pigpen, and projectile damage increased from 0 to 40. Sigma. Danger Falling Rocks. Accretion. Projectile speed decreased from 37 to 30. Projectile speed gravity decreased from 18 to 2. Pressing the ability button while accretion is active will cause the rock to crash into the ground. When crashed, it will deal 50 damage <laughs> in a 4 meter radius and stun anyone damaged. This sounds like something that I would actually love to have in the live game. I'm honest with you. This sounds, this sounds, this sounds amazing. I can't wait to see how it looks like in game. Winton. Empowering the no aim playstyle. Tesla cannon. Secondary fire now chains between enemies. Okay. Primal Rage, punches also cause lightning to chain between enemies. So, AoE Winden. AoE Winden. Winden's finally playable. Wrecking Ball. We're preparing to retcon Wrecking Ball into a crab. Oh, I have the perfect sound. Hope these changes are sufficiently immersive. Wrecking Ball sideways movement speed increased by 50%. Oh, because we're always walking. Quad Cannons. Deals increased damage as you continue to walk sideways. I'd love this. I can't wait to see how this looks like in game. Deals increased damage. By how much? By how much, bro? Okay, next up, Zarya. Please don't burst Zarya's bubble no matter how big it gets. Okay. Second comment. Please don't burst Zarya's bubble no matter how big it gets. Increases the size of the bubble target by 1.75 times. Huge bubbles. What's gonna happen? It sounds like there's something else cooking here. I'll be honest with you. It sounds like there's something else cooking. Okay, instructions are unclear. We're just gonna shoot Zaga's bubbles. That's a huge bubble. Some pretty huge bubbles. Okay, moving on. Damage here goes. Developer comments. Bob's upset his spaghetti from being called the wrong name. So Fred's... <laughs> Fred's picking up the slack. We have some log. Bob is uh, Bob's name is Fred. Fred, new ability on mouse scroll wheel. Weapon swap. Call in Fred to charge for a short duration before leaving. Bastion. Yeah, we've switched up his configurations a little. So anyway, starts blasting. Configuration assault. Assault is now the default form. Movement speed penalty has been removed. Assault now has 150 ammo. Damage per bullet decreased from 12 to 5 and now deals 1.5 damage extra for 1.5x damage for critical hits. Reconfigure now transforms Bastion into configuration recon, grants a movement speed bonus of 35%, and sentry now fires shotgun blasts. Maybe this is how Ramatia is gonna be dying. Cassidy, extra survivability is every cowboy's dream. Just don't die, forehead. 
Wanted. The, ante the added wanted in game? New passive. One enemy is marked. Kill them to gain 50 health until the next time you die. After five kills, you gain one health each time. <laughs> what? You're just gonna become tanky, Cassidy. I swear. Echo. Now bringing mystery heroes into other modes. Targets within eight meters of Echo take damage as if they're under half health. Wait, 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 wait. Let me read this. Focusing beam. Targets within eight meters of Echo take damage as if they're under half health. And duplicate can no longer choose who you duplicate. Can now duplicate allies. Duplicate's health no longer capped at 300 health. Duplicate now gains an extra 100 shields. And bonus ult charge gain rate increase from 4 to 6.5. I love the duplicate allies one, by the way. That's what I've always wanted. Being able to duplicate allies. Genji. Parry this. Not exclusive to casual players. Deflect. Press primary fire with perfect timing to critically deflect a projectile. So you can get headshots with this? Maybe? Okay. I mean, you can get headshots anyway. Critically deflect the projectile. What, what does this even mean? We'll see in game. Hanzo. Hanzo has always struggled to overcome his past, so it's hard for him not to bounce back to old habits. <laughs> Storm arrows. Numbers of ricochets increase from 1 to 3. Number of projectiles per shot increase from 1 to 5. And damage of each projectile decreased by 78%. So this is an improved version of Hanzo's scatter arrow, I guess. Junkrat. Junkrat puts bombs on his bombs. Not sure why this would surprise anybody. You can now detonate frag launcher projectiles with secondary fire. Oh, wait, so you, you can left click and then right click, left click and then right click? May. Definitely do not use this to get to spots on the map you're not supposed to get to tanks. Time to bug the map. Avalanche launch. New ability. Press jump in the air to activate. Creates a large ice pillar under May and can be cancelled when interact. Okay, I want to see how this looks like in game. How, how, how high up can you get? Catapult wall. Farah, you've used hover jets, you've used jump jets, you've used jet bash. But have you tried jet land? New ability, jet land. Press crouch in the air to activate, dash towards the ground. I love this. Reaper, someone's taken a page out of Mauga's book. Wait, we're going to have a small Reaper? Hellfire shotguns. Primary fire now only shoots one shotgun. Damage per bullet reduced from 5.4 to 2.8. Ammo increased. It doubled to 16 from 8. And secondary fire now shoots the other shotgun. I mean, this is how it should work, honestly. Reaper is going to feel more interactive to play now. Sojourn. Vivian Chase, more like Vivian Pull. Disruptor Shot now pulls enemies in on deploy. Sojourn has a mini Graviton. You can deploy the Disruptor Shot early by pressing E again. Okay, Soldier. A gun and gun? Sounds like fun. Heavy Pulse. Can now be used during Sprint? How? Wait, how? Using Heavy Pulse Rifle while sprinting has a spread of 2. Wait, how are you gonna use it while sprinting? Huh? Run and shoot. Yeah, but but you, you gotta look at the direction that you're running. With toggle. <gasps> oh yeah, you gotta put your sprint to toggle. True. Okay, next up. To keep fights fair, let the enemy just shoot. Uh, let the enemy team know that they should update their network antivirus and firewalls as soon as possible. Killing an enemy infected with virus, it attempts to spread to a nearby enemy. Ooh. Honestly, this is how Sombra's ability should be. Symmetra. Teleporter. Oh, Symmetra can't roll if you don't press teleport. Only places exit teleporter. Any ally can use the teleporter regardless of their location. Teleporter duration decreases from 10 to 4 seconds. What the hell? What? Wait, 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 wait. So, 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 wait, wait. Only places exit teleporter. So you can put the TP here. Any ally can use teleport regardless of their location. So if I'm there and I press F, I get over here. This is incredible. You can literally... This is incredible. This is insane. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Torbjorn. Everyone deserves a pet target. 
The tugger now sticks to walls, ceilings, and allies. <laughs> okay. Tracer. Uh, work. Pistols. Pulls. Wait, from here. Anyways, can somebody read this? Randomly sends you to the past or future, changing how your pulse pistols work. Oh, okay, it's over here. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you for the translation. Really fast. In the past or future? What do you mean changing in the past or future? How can they predict? What? Hooks plus headshot equals parkour. Actually, I'll let you know the definition of parkour is not that, but now has three charges on grappling hook. Getting a critical hit with Widow's Kiss's secondary fire replenishes one charge of the ability. <gasps> Spider Widow. Dude, imagine just, just Spider Widow nonstop. What's next? Supports. Okay, we're gonna dive into Ana soon. We're gonna dive into Ana soon. We have a little teaser video for you. Play Overwatch's message has gotten deleted. Okay, wait, wait, play Overwatch. Wait, wait, let's, let's finish running this down. Support, Ana. Rise and shine, how's this for a good awakening? Sleep dart. Slept enemies slowly rise while sleeping. Enemies take full damage when they land. Okay. Time to sleep dart. Time to sleep dart far in the sky. Next up, Baptiste. Uh, someone once advised Baptiste to keep moving forward. He's really taken that advice to heart. Now launches you forward rather than upward. Oh. Oh, this sounds fun. This sounds really fun. Amplification matrix. Increases speed of projectile shot, shoot, shot through it by 200%. Yeah, sure? I mean, sure. Bop is now a dive support. Breg. Bigite. Bigite? Scale increased by 1.5. Armor increased from 50 to 150. Wait. Shield bagger. Health increased from 250. <laughs> To 700, always uses bigger size. Rally resets your shield bash cooldown. Movement speed bonus increased from 1.15 to 1.3. So Breg's a tank now. Chat, Breg's a tank. Breg is back. Ghost Breg is back. Ilagi. Fixing a long standing Ilagi bug, her solar powers are now fully functional. After using Captive Sun, Ilagi becomes solar installed. She moves faster and charges her solar rifle faster. Her rifle always charges to full damage power. Movement speed bonus 1.2. Attack charge time reduced by 40%. Healing recharge bonus 1.2. Ilagi is going to be unstoppable. And also solar power. New passive. Ilagi is always solar installed when the sun is out. So Bogus TikTok on Ilagi actually doing more damage in the sun was actually true. Was actually true. Everybody was saying that he was trolling. He just knew this. How did he know? How did he know this? Okay, uh, this, this is going to be hilarious to see. Bogus just leaked. Just leaked. Life Weaver, please, please, please. Something fun for LW. Let's see. Reach new heights with Life Weaver to the power of photosynthesis. Now it is up 20 meters. <laughs> up from 8 meters. Where's the skybox? Where's the skybox with this? Lucio. Lucio's gun is now keeping it in time. Sonic amplifier. Ammo increased from 20 to 30. Recovery decreased from 0 0.14 14 seconds per bullet to 0 0.125. Seconds per bullet. Ah, yes, numbers. Now shoots three bullets per volley during speed boost and five bullets per volley during healing boost. And sound barrier knocks up enemies the sound waves hit. Ooh. So, you, wait, you drop the beat and then they just get lifted up. Like, uh, like a shockwave. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is... Curious how high up, though. Curious how high up. And Mercy. I guess. No, we have Mercy and uh, Moira and Zen, I think. Goodbye, zero damage numbers. Caduceus Staff. Damage boost from secondary fire removed. Secondary fire is now damage staff. Damage staff fires Caduceus Blaster projectiles. So wait, you should out of, out of, out of, out of, 
out of your staff. Projectiles have a small size. Size gets bigger during the ult. Two more damage. Projectile reload automatically while not firing. Projectile reload at twice the speed while healing or after four seconds without firing. Can fire projectiles at a reduced firing speed if healing beam is active. And healing beam can heal at a reduced rate if damage staff is active. Caduceus Blast to removed. I want to see how this is going to be like in game. DPS Mercy, let's go. Moira. Moira's right arm is starting to melt from all the experimentation, so she's switching it up. Double uh, damage arms, let's see. But the grass primary fire now deals damage instead of healing. Now heals instead of doing damage. Wait, so I can just like reverse this? Huh? This is just, they just reversed it. They just, I can just change E. I can just change left click, right click. You suck to heal. The animation change, maybe. This is a meme change. This is a meme change. Okay. Uh, moving on. Zenyatta, let Zen walk. Not sure about that one. Ammo increased from 25 to 32. Second day fire charge time per projectile decreased from 0.50. Okay, numbers, numbers. Um, the projectiles fire faster. The damage decreased by 30%. You can now charge up to 8 orbs with secondary fire. 8. Zenyatta accelerate, accelerates upward while charging the secondary fire. What do you mean? It just throws it? Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the patch rundown. I can't wait to see this in-game. This event will be in-game until April 8th, so you have a week to try it out. You have a week to try it out.